Howdy gamers, uh, this week has been all about bug testing and map making. Um, so the first bug to kind of show off is the custom lobby bug. Uh, basically, when a map is not set to public, uh, so if it's either like private or just unlisted, you can't actually host on Valve servers, but the Dota client will let you try. Um, took me a while to, to figure this one out, but basically you just have to host it on your machine. Another thing is item buying bugs. Basically, uh, you can buy items that aren't in the shop, but that are part of the recommended items, um, you know, in the pre-game lobby. Um, and additionally, you can also buy pinned items once you're in game, uh, which I hadn't quite realized. Um, so I'm going to need to fix this either by, uh, I think there's some way to remove stuff from the shop. Um, failing that, I can just maybe set the price to be like a million dollars and and that would serve a similar purpose. Um, another thing is a skill animation bug. I expect this is a pre-caching issue. Um, you might have noticed that the, the patch notes have a lot of stuff related to pre-caching. That had to do with sound, which fortunately at least the skill sound is playing correctly. Um, but you can see that it's missing most of the animations. Um, as far as one of the more exciting bugs to go, like another game breaking one, is you can actually fall off the edge of this map. Um, while playtesting, Miles pushed me off the edge, uh, and then I couldn't get back up. Um, you can kind of see that if you use the, the skewer ability, you do teleport to some extent. Um, so what, what I expect is happening is just there's maybe some pockets uh, that are set as traversable by the player. Uh, and you kind of get snapped over to them and and maybe with you know the skewer ability you get pushed just a little bit further than you can normally go and that causes you to fall off the map um, but you know something else to try and fix last but certainly not least is the new map courtesy of wraith kira uh, he's been working on this you know for for a bit and uh it's you know in a place where it can actually be you know traversed and moved around um, still need to add some of the game objects, you know, like items to pick up and, and whatnot. Um, but the map itself is, is looking really nice. Um, you can tell visually, you know, what the different areas are, which is nice. Um, and so, yeah, it's just going to be what we're using, at least moving forward, at least for the, once we get a play test, uh, ready or, you know, get this mod ready for play testing. Um, something of note though is that I will need to fix slash change the particle effect I was using for the firewall uh, because it's way too intensive uh, on a map this size. Uh, I was go I went from like you know 100 something FPS down to five um, once it started covering a significant portion of the map. So that'll definitely need adjusting just due to the map size. Well, that's it for this week. Thank you very much for following the development of Herbs Two. Um, something of note though is I have some IRL stuff going on, so uh, this next week I probably won't be able to get much done, so expect next week's update to be pretty darn small. Um, but anyways, thanks for watching and I'll see you around.